In this video, we're going to learn how to find the smallest number in a file using C++. So here we have a file with one number per line. We're going to assume this is the format of the file that our program is expected to handle. And the smallest number in this file is 1.1. We want our program to find and output this number. We'll allow the user to enter in the name of the file. So we'll create a variable file name of type string to store this file name. We'll then prompt the user to enter in the file name. So we'll have C out and then file name colon to prompt them to enter in the file name. And then we'll use get line to store the file name the user enters into the file name variable. So we'll have get line with C in and file name as arguments to read in a line of input from standard input and store it into the string file name variable. Now the next thing we'll do is include the fstream library so that we can use the ifstream object type to open the file and read its contents. So we'll have here number sign include fstream. Then down here we can declare an ifstream object. So we'll have here ifstream file to declare an ifstream object with the name file. Before we can read the contents of the file, we first need to open the file. We can use the open member function to do that. So here we'll have file.open and we'll pass it the file name that was entered by the user. And this function will attempt to open the file. Now it is possible that the file may fail to open. So for example, if the user enters in the name of a file that doesn't actually exist, we can check for that using the fail member function. So we could have here, if file.fail is true, where the fail member function is going to return true if the file has failed to open. In that case, we'll have the program exit with an error message in status. So we'll have here, C out, and then error opening file, followed by an inline. And we'll also have return one. Returning one instead of returning zero is a signal to the shell or the terminal that something has gone wrong in the execution of our program. Now at this point here, we know the file has been opened correctly and we're ready to start reading in the numbers from the file. Let's create some variables to help with that. Here we'll have double number where number is going to store each number that we read from the file. We'll then create a variable called min, and min is going to store the smallest number that we've found so far in the file. We'll create one more bool variable called first number, because the first number that we read from the file is by default also going to be the smallest number that we've found so far in the file. We'll assign the value true, and true is going to be used to indicate that we have not yet read in that first number from the file. We can now read in each number from the file and we're going to update min accordingly. So we'll have here while file and then the stream attraction operator number. So this operation is going to read the next number in the file and store it into the number variable. The operation is going to evaluate to true so long as a number has been successfully read from the file. So this loop is going to read in each number in the file until we reach the end of the file, at which point the operation is going to return false and the loop is going to stop. So in the loop body, we'll have an if statement, if first number is true. So if first number is true, that means the number that we've just read in is the first number that we've actually read from the file. And if that's the case, by default, it is the smallest number that we've read from the file. So we'll have here, min is equal to number. We'll also assign false to first number to indicate that now we have read in the first number from the file. Otherwise, if first number is false, we'll check to see if the number that we've just read in is less than min. If it is, we've found a new smallest number and we need to update min. 
So we'll have here, min is equal to number, to update min, because here we found a new smallest number. So by the time this loop is done, min is going to be set to the smallest number that we found in the file. We can now output that number. So down here, we could have C out, and then min colon, and then min, followed by an end line. Now it is possible that the file contained no numbers at all. If that's the case, first number is still going to be set to true. We could handle that case. We could have here, if first number is true, then we'll output no numbers in file, followed by an inline. Otherwise, we'll output the min here. And we'll just put the C out inside of here. Now the last thing we should do is close our access to the file. So here we'll have file.close to close the file. We can now save our program and compile it and test it out. So up here, we'll first compile it and then we'll run it. And I'll enter in file.txt for the file name and we get a min number of 1.1, which is correct because 1.1 is the smallest number in that file. So this is how we can find the smallest number in a file using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.